Surprise, surprise, surprise. Clemson Tigers. First of all, let's go ahead and say this. Clemson Tigers versus Auburn Tigers is a football matchup. It's been going on, on and off for about the past 15 years. And Clemson's, you know, kind of got the, the short end of the rope a couple of times. Um, oh, but even when Cam Newton played for Auburn, Clemson was the only team that year that almost beat them. I mean, it just really was what it was. You know what I'm saying? So football has been just a, a, a I mean, it's just been a good matchup. And Clemson's owned Auburn over the past couple, three uh, tries. But tonight was something very different. <clears throat> a lot more at stake in the sense of when the game was taking place. You know, this game wasn't taking place like in December when nobody cared. You know, oh yeah, Auburn, Clemson, yada, yada. Everybody else is on the real sport that we all truly care about football. But no, let's set the stage. NCAA tournament, second round, number five seed, number four seed. You're playing the SEC champions, just won the tournament. A high scoring team in the SEC. So I'm going to be, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I know I did not do a video on them beating the New Mexico State um, Mid-Southland well, Women's League. I didn't do it. I did one about that little uh, uh, Yorker, uh, Yorkie Terrier team beating up on uh, 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 Virginia Cavaliers. Can't help it. But Clemson got to the round of 32. Okay? I got to the round of 32. It is what it is. And they were going to play Auburn. And between you and I, based off of the video I did the other day, I said Clemson sucked at dancing. Now, if any of you get mad at me, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I love you, and Jesus loves you, but I'll punch you in the face. Just is what it is. Truth hurts. I got a cousin. She goes around and puts herself in all these pageants. She's running around there wanting everybody to tell her she's pretty. Listen to me. Listen to me, Vidalia. If you will knock off supporting Golden Corral, and you will stop bankrupting them just off of the chocolate fountain alone, you may actually truly stand a chance in life, okay? But you're putting them judges in a bad place, all right? I, I, it is what it is. Truth hurts. Deal with it. Clemson Tigers not being good at dancing in basketball. My Lord, they couldn't even get to the dance. And when they do get to the dance, it's like watching a blind boy try to make out with a peach. It's ugly. Something happened. A hailing of has taken place. Almost to biblical proportions. Clemson Tigers come out against the defending SEC champions and absolutely beat the living dookie out of them. 84 to 53. And at one time, Clemson was up by 41 glorious points. Oh, Lord. Bruce Pearl standing over there. Does he have the bullhorn like he normally did when he was at Tennessee getting the student section riled up? Had his chest painted out there? He's going up there. He's giving a good uh, used car salesman pitch to the camera. He's looking out there, and everybody's looking going, I don't know if we should trust this guy, but everybody's like, well, he can coach basketball. Okay, we'll let him. And then they, they, one thing leads to another. But he brings in a high-octane team to play our Tigers, and our Tigers, I'm going to tell you right now, our Tigers are tough. All right, they lose Grantham. As I admitted, I thought they were doing, and they still did pretty well this year. Good to have him. They probably won a few more games, but, it, you know, that's, you know, just like I've always said, son, that's how the turds land in the toilet. You just got to accept it. But I tell you, they like my, they're like my old granny. She's a tough old bat. That woman right there, she'll fight a bear with a fly swat. And she won't give up. She'll win, too. And that's our Clemson Tigers. Lord, that just pulled. I tell you, that DeVoe, DeVoe, what, finished 22 points. That youngin, I tell you this, aside from have a, having a very lush beard, until he takes care of that thing, he comes out there, he's playing from Shelby, North Carolina, on up a road here, boy, he can play. And then you got that, you got that Thomas Youngin. He's a big old boy out there just ripping it up. And then you got Reed. He actually spells his name R-E-E-D, 
So it's easy to spell versus these people who put an I in it. And it confuses me. Because I'm telling you, I just, I don't know. I, that's a whole nother story for another time. But I'm telling you, it, early on in the game, it's 13-13, tied up, knotted up. And Clemson started pulling away. And you could tell Auburn's like, okay, we're going to get in this flow. We're going to get in this flow. Okay, guys. And it was just like, it was just like Auburn was trying to get a grip on a snake covered in Vaseline. It wasn't going to happen. And Clemson slithered away, turned around, and bit him in the butt crack. Congratulations, you're going to the first, the first Sweet 16 since 1997. Way before Rick Barnes, you know, left town and then talked about how bad our school system sucked. I'm telling you, that what a fantastic, what a fantastic season. Congratulations to you boys and listen to me. Just, just come and listen. Go back and watch my Clemson football videos and you'll understand how much I can love you, yet tell you the truth. It's like uh, Bobby Durkins Jr. Jr., if we don't get something done with him, I'm afraid he's going to be hair-lipped. He's going to be running around going, yeah, well, we, 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 we. everybody's going to be like, oh, you, you, we've got to be careful not to make him laugh. I'm sorry, everything he says is funny. I mean, with that little hair lip, I mean, I can't help laugh myself, but I'd take a bullet in, in the chest for him, and I'll kick you in the goober if you say something about my boy. But I'm going to tell the truth. Clemson, proud of you. Did not think you would get this far. I'm glad I'm wrong. You're not going to beat Kansas. But I'm glad I was wrong these first two rounds. I, and listen, if old Bobby feels you and you get y'all fired up and you go out there and beat Kansas, good. Prove it so, redneck boy, wrong. I don't mean being wrong. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I'm right. We're going to celebrate the victory right now. But if you want to put up and make me shut up, which that's not possible, go out there and beat Kansas. Either way, old Bobby's going to be pulling for you, win or lose. Most likely lose, but we're going to be pulling for you. It's a great season. It's just, it's just good. It's just good to see Brad Brown. I like Brad Brown now. Um... The only thing Brad Brownell has needed during his course here at Clemson been scores. That man can coach defense like I've never seen. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. The sad thing with a lot of his career is he's held teams to 50 points, but his offense has only scored 45, which equals losing every time. I didn't graduate that MIT up there in Boston where they all up there run around doing math and you know, then they get surprised when some of those boys turn up from the Middle East and they they building bombs to bomb us all. I mean, I'm just telling you, I ain't one of those types that is really mathematical and stuff. But I've always said this. If you owe two cents, but you only make one cent, you're one cent short. And in this case, no matter how Clemson's defense has been that great, their offense has always been one cent short. But the tide is turning. And I'm pulling for you, pulling for you, pulling for you. Hey, listen, I just want to let everybody know I've had some really good people. Y'all been reaching out to me. You've been telling me what a good job I've been doing. And listen to me. Listen to me. I don't mind some flattery. I don't. I don't. I take you. Because what do I have left in this? And listen, I love my beautiful, precious peach, Bonnie Durkins, with all of my heart. And I love Bobby Durkins, Jr. And Bobby Durkins, Jr., Jr., with everything I am. But between them boys and this life, they've all been trying to kill me. So I'll take anything. Thank you to all you who's been spending your time coming on here, leaving comments. I try to comment back to you as fast as I can, but sometimes between tearing down the fence out here and, I don't know, fighting ISIS, I just don't have as much time as I'd like to. But y'all keep on. I'll get to you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's Sunday. It's coming up. It's going to be the new week. I want you to get out there and just have a good time this week. I tell you right now, just, just don't let anything get you down. Don't you get out there and feeling all depressed and feel like, you know, you're fat and ugly? Listen to me. You may be fat and ugly, but Bobby Durkin still likes you. It's Bobby Durkin saying go Tigers and have a good week. Bob Durkins.